Hi, this is Parent of Parent brought to you by Bina, your weekly parenting boost and some answers to your specific questions. So I received the following question. A parent wrote to me and said, I don't know how to get my children to listen to me. Every night at sleep time, I have to tell my son 15 times to get into his pajamas and he just doesn't listen. What should I do? How do I get him to start listening? You know, sometimes when people ask questions, the answers are actually in the question. The answer is that you are telling him too many times. You cannot tell a child 15 times to do anything because you guarantee they won't listen. In fact, you know what's even better? When people warn their children and say, okay, now I'm counting to three. One, two, two and a half, two three quarters, two seven eighths. All that, of course, doesn't work. It doesn't work because children need structure and discipline and children want and desire structure and discipline. They may not tell you that, they have their own language, they may test it, but really what they're saying is, please provide for me safe and secure and firm boundaries. But children also have an amazing ability to detect any trace of weakness or ambivalence or ambiguity. And therefore, they don't respond well when they don't feel they've been given safe and secure boundaries with the voice of authority. If they detect weakness, it backfires. So here's what we need to do. We need to, first of all, talk to our children before the event comes, like during the day, and warn them that when the time comes and there's instructions, this is what we're going to do, role play the conversation. When I tell you to get into your pajamas, I want you to come right away. And then we need to look at them, make eye contact when the time comes and give a clear, slow, but authoritative instruction that sounds like coming from a strength, not a weakness. We need to say, I'm going to tell you only once, I'll give you one warning and that's it. And if that happens, well, you can incentivize them, but if they don't listen, then we'll have to move on to the next stage. You know, this is not only a strategy, this is our moral obligation. Our moral obligation is to train children to respond to authority and to respect boundaries. It's part of our responsibility as parents. And when we speak with a voice of authority, we've got a much better chance of it working. When we are serious, we get taken seriously. Send your own questions, your own parenting questions to ptp at binna.com.au. Have a wonderful day.